And let's go over the questions, uh, example questions for vertical angles. Example A asks us to find the measure of angle 1. So angle 1 is down here on the bottom left, right here. And we can see that angle 1 is directly across from this 18 degree angle. So since it's straight across from it, those are vertical angles. So angle 1 and angle 18 must be equal to each other because they're vertical angles. So that tells us that angle 1 is also 18 degrees. So the measure of angle 1 equals 18 degrees. So that was pretty straightforward. All right, example B. If example A, B, C, and D, E, F are vertical angles and the measure of ABC is 4x plus 10 and measure of DEF is 5x plus 2, what is the measure of each angle? Okay, well it doesn't tell us anything about their measurements at all. It doesn't tell us whether they're supplementary or complementary when they're added together, but it does tell us that they are vertical angles. So if ABC and DEF are vertical angles, then they're equal. So that tells us that 4x plus 10 is equal to 5x plus 2. So now we can just solve for x. So we'll subtract 2 from both sides. My rule of thumb for solving for x, by the way, is always to collect the variables on the side that starts with the most. And it, it isn't a rule hard and fast, it's just kind of a good rule of thumb because it tends to prevent you getting and having to deal with negative variables. Since this side starts with 5x's, and this side starts with 4x's, I opted to get the numbers off of this side, the, the uh, constants off of this side, and put them all over here, and then get the variables off of the left-hand side, and move them over to the right-hand side. So that's why I'm subtracting 2 from both sides first. Gives me 4x plus 8 over here, and 5x over here, so now I have just variables on the right-hand side. Now I subtract the 4x from the left-hand side to get it away from over there, and I get 4x is cancel, I get 8 equals 5x minus 4x, which is just 1x. So if 8 equals x, then the measure of angle ABC is 4 times 8 plus 10, or 8 times 4 is 32 plus 10 is 42 degrees, and the measure, let's change colors, the measure of angle DEF is 5 times 8 plus 2 degrees. So it's 42 degrees also, which would make sense given that they are vertical angles. They should be the same. Okay, now example C. Example C, true or false, vertical angles are always less than 90 degrees. Well, that's a, a little bit tricky, actually, because there is a rule. That's just not the right one. Vertical angles are not always less than 90 degrees. In fact, we can see um, my straight line tool is going to put arrow heads on there, but I guess we're going to do it anyway. If we have vertical angles, they definitely don't have to be less than 90 degrees, because obviously these two angles are vertical angles here this one and this one, and they're way more than 90 degrees. But the rule is that they can't be more than 180 degrees, because while you could have a straight line, and that would say that, in a sense, this angle and this angle are vertical angles, you can't have more than that, because if either one of these went past halfway, that overlapped the other angle. So vertical angles are not always less than 90 degrees, so this statement is false, but vertical angles are less than 180 degrees. And that's it.